solve algebraically. Well, here we could distribute the 2 and the 1 half, but if we multiply everything by 2, let's look at what happens. If we multiply everything by 2, I think it's nice that um, you kind of save some steps and get rid of a fraction. So multiply everything by 2. And what's going to happen is this term, right, is going to become 4 times x minus 4. Remember, it's 2 times this, and if you're multiplying 2 times something already, when you double it, you just get 4 groups of that something. Greater than or equal to, to 1 times 5 minus 3x, because 2 times a half is 1. Now, you don't need to distribute the 1, so let me clear this off. 1 is the identity and does not need to be distributed. But we should distribute this 4, get 4x minus 16, greater than or equal to 5 minus 3x. We add 3x to both sides because I want to avoid negatives, right? If I subtracted the 4x to the, to the right, I would get a negative value. And I'm going to add 16 to both sides. What happens? These cancel out. 16 and 5 is 21. And then we get 4x and 3x is 7x. And then we can always solve, right? We have 7x greater than or equal to 21. Divide everything by 7. x is greater than or equal to 3. Our answer. The only thing to think about that's different when you balance inequalities versus equations is if you find yourself multiplying or dividing by a negative, you must, 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 must switch the direction of the sign. Okay.